Disclaimer, copyrights enforced. The following is based on true events, facts, fiction, second party, observations, nonsense, hearsay, bullshit. You be the judge. One thing we guarantee is 100% pure entertainment. All names, places, persons, and things, etc. have been changed for privacy issues. This show is R-rated, may contain obscene language, nudity, not for persons under 18. Please listen responsibly. I'm ready, bros. I'm ready. Welcome, listeners. Blowhard Talk Hard here with his co-host. Reimer in the house. Also Sabrina, present. Welcome, Reimer, Sabrina, listeners. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. I think we're pretty, everybody's looking pretty happy in this room. So even Pat's looking okay today. I'll give him that much. <laughs> we yeah, got a couple thumbs, thumbs up. up. Thumbs yeah. up. Pat gave us a thumbs up. I got um, this episode here. You know what? Never mind the bullshit or just... Uh, the little jargon as we always do. I want to do uh, your best three moments of this year because this has been a tough year for everybody. Let's be honest here. Like, I know there's a lot of people who became rich and you know manipulated the situation, but us normal folk will call ourselves. What were the highlights of your year? Like three things only. And I don't want you to sit there and start like nitpicking and just three yeah, things the off the top things. of your head. Yeah, positive things. Who wants to go first? I'll go. All right, take it away, Sabrina. Let's let's hear it. Well, I got really close with a friend of mine who's now like my best friend. We talk almost every day. We both live alone, so we really supported each other throughout awesome. everything. We went out like we would walk down the street blaring music, singing 90s songs at the top of our lungs, walking to get ice cream during the summer like Within the limits of what we could do, we really managed to make a good time. Which times. is great. Yeah. Personal relationship. Yeah, good. so my best friend and I got really close. Um, I got a man. That's awesome. Ooh, I got, got me a man. When did you get the man? Like six months in? A year? Um, we started talking at the very end of March. And then so I think the I stopped talking thing. to other people. The corona thing. I'm talking beer. COVID know, right? thing. The whole COVID <laughs> thing. Well, what I did at the beginning was I figured it doesn't matter if you live down the street or across the fucking globe. I can't see you anyway. So I opened up all the um, location settings on my dating apps. I'm sexting Jesus. some dude in Colorado. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I live in uh, Palm good time. Springs. You want to hang out? Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah I had a friend ask me from New York asked me in October if I wanted to go to Palm Springs in like four days and I'm like first of all I don't have that's not enough notice even if this wasn't going and, on uh, you know what we're not the ball, Kardashians no. buddy beat it yeah exactly okay um, that's good relationships are good so as long as you're happy best friend got a man and number three is this podcast I was about to say if you don't say this podcast I'm gonna fucking oh, get fuck rattled off. good for you good for you <laughs> you stole my answer but yeah that's good. That's good. Yeah, that would have been a that would have been a good closer. But then yeah. again, our listeners know that we like to keep it off the cuff. This yeah, is not yeah, planned. Yeah. It's very educated. Yeah, it's no, it's enjoyable doing it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I look forward to it every week. Rhymer, hit us with your nonsense because I know you're gonna say nothing but nonsense. Oh, Go on. Nothing nice. but nonsense. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm just we've had a chance <laughs> to spend more time together this year. That's been great. Oh, thank you. I yeah. appreciate. It. You know what? That's a very nice thing. You to know, because this has been a ridiculous little journey. Uh, right from the beginning. I've really enjoyed uh, taking on the outline. It's almost of the a year, show. by the way. It'll be a year in February when we first launch. Pretty crazy. much, yeah. Yeah, and we'll yeah. do a one year anniversary show. Then, listeners, check it uh, out. Uh, uh, we're, we're preparing for it soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting everything organized. Like, we're yeah. ordering this special champagne from France. What's that place I couldn't pronounce? Champagne? <laughs> no, no, the place in France when I was making fun, like, uh, you guys are laughing at me. Oh, Rings? when you said, what, what was, the, was the, the, the Champs-Elysees? Yeah, the Champs-Elysees. <laughs> I still don't know if I'm saying it right. Anyways, fuck it. So, you know what? I appreciate that, Rhymer. That's Wait, very nice. Pat yeah. said, Pat, you can say it. Pat, Pat, Pat got a mic. Tell, uh, tell us how it is. Uh, yes, I have a mic. This is the first time you hear my voice. It's Sean. Delizé. Chant de Lise. Okay. In so, but Reimer's, Reimer's thing was getting together. I love that. Go on. Yes. You know, uh, it's been great working with uh, producer Pat as well and then uh, bringing this lovely lady on. Hi. Of course. And uh, yeah, the overall development. This year has been hectic for myself, so I've not had a chance to, like, in the middle of this all, you know, enjoy it. But the beginning of the year, fantastic. It started off wonderful. Uh, and then had you got, sl- then we all got slapped. I and we all you. got slapped. You know, we had a beautiful trip in Mexico, which was a nice way I recall. before this. 
Fucking lockdown happened. That was uh, a beautiful start. And uh, you got to go on vacation before all this started. Yeah, oh, yeah. We started oh, God in January. bless you. We were doing the nice podcast twice a week, and then all of a sudden, whack. Like, yeah. It was like, fuck. Oh, I ate well down there, drank well, and then uh, came yeah. home, and then not eating as much as. Uh, we used to do the meeting, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. and then just go right to the hotel bar and just have get bombed. There you go. I yeah. used to drop everything on the floor. <laughs> and this is not even a joke. What's funny is that I do that, and I d- oh, we're don't trying even to keep drink low anymore. key. We got Pat. All the servers were into the show. We were talking about it every week. <laughs> yeah, you got Pat having two beers. Blop. I'm like, holy fuck, man! Can we at least look a little bit professional here? Yeah, and right. I've also enjoyed the growth of this show. I mean, we've started getting some great guests on, mm-hmm. which I only imagine we get even you know guests that are as good as this caliber that we've just had and more. You know what? The funny thing is that we didn't even do a shout out. Cecilia from Minx will be here January the 3rd. I can't wait. Yeah. She's an uh, stunning, yes. smart, great bubbly. attitude, loves the job, great per- like you got, You're going to freak out when you see her. And I'm I looking forward to meeting her. You, present, you have seen a photo of her and she's a bombshell. Like, she's, she's just, she's exotic, she's but she's sweet. She's naughty. She's everything you want in a woman. That's what I'm, I'm young for. <laughs> so when, uh, listeners, make sure, like I've tweeted it out a few times that she's coming on. She's cold, like she's retweeted the tweet. She's excited. She was, I can't believe it. I'm so like flattered. I go flattered. I go, you, I'm, uh, I'm flattered to have you coming on yeah. the show. And I'm but, excited to meet her. Yeah. yeah. You know, another thing, another thing for myself was uh, in this little journey is I, I came in ignorant. That's been my role, like not knowing shit about this industry <laughs> uh-huh. and uh, learning so much about it. It's been really like my eyes have opened up and it's, Fantastic and exciting, and a shout out to all the people that make this uh, this industry happen. It's, in, it's very interesting, the industry, right? Because you think everybody's got that stigma. It's always like bad, or but it's not. No, nine out of nine point nine percent. It's pretty. Yeah. You know, you always get a dick in anything you do in life, but literally and figuratively. figuratively yeah. yeah. Well, you but definitely get a dick in this industry. Hey. hey oh. Maybe you do, not me. But okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're you're coming got with a dick, it, a dick comes with it, a dick. Given the dicks dick. are involved, is all I'm saying. Given the D. How about yourself, man? Two thousand twenty. Yeah. Like, like, highlight, like, like pretty much everything you said, Sabrina said. The show here was like a weekly. Looking forward to it, like every week, just something to do, like get together instead of like what else will we be doing right now it's been a lot to us we hope it's been a lot to our listeners too yeah like everybody it's been a good ride and uh, keep moving forward number two you know what i don't really see too much other things that really made me like stand out in the thing but i started painting oh yeah something different i want to see a follow-up of the elephants yeah something different like i never would have even dreamed of doing last year and uh other than that fuck I don't even know what they'll say. I'll just leave it at the two. Right. I have no, nothing else. Though, nothing else. I'm back in your life, ding dong. Two. Yeah, you're back. That's what I'm saying. All that stuff is all <laughs> part of this. That was part of number one. Number, like we were asking, what are the highlights? There's got to be something I just can't recall right now. But. Yeah. Uh, some oh. of the highlights, you know, some of the, we've had some great guests, just mm-hmm. like thinking of uh, Effie. Okay, how about this? Which is your favorite show since the beginning? Ooh. Uh, I Remember, we're at episode I, 43 or something like I don't even know. What is the favorite episode that you think we have? <laughs> this, uh, my, the, our favorite fan, uh, Jared from the bar. Hi, Jared. His yeah. favorite episode is number 18 when I did the Montreal Canadian story. And the fan in front of me was kept turning around giving me the evil look because his kid. And I went to Montreal to watch the game. I never seen them win. And every time in Montreal that they won... He kept looking at me like with that face. And I'm like, hey, man, look at me again. I'm going to break your face. <laughs> and he, he loves that episode. So, But anyways, Reimer, tell us what your favorite episode. Uh, it's got to be with uh, the lovely uh, Effie White. It was uh, fantastic. Everybody just, loved that episode. I know. Everybody loved it. She's stunning. She had a lot of wonderful energy in the room. She's uh, independent had to... now, guys. If you need to find her, give us a call, and uh, we'll guide you where she is. Yeah, we had the psychic. Uh, psychic. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Hypnotist, the hypnotist. Hypnotist. Kimberly the hypnotist. Oh my God, Kimberly. The, the, she emailed me. She followed up because I did the, I did the, yeah. the one of you her sessions. You went ahead and did the session. And uh, like she asked me, so how do you feel? I go, I don't know if it works and I don't know if it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, I don't know if I'm angry or if I'm not angry. So then she goes, it must be working. I go, I think so. Oh shit. But you know the fucked up thing is? Mm-hmm. I'm at the, like say at the bar and I'm thinking to myself, I feel empty. I want to be angry. I know you do. And I couldn't. Wow. 
Yeah, the we guys said, we were looking at me going, you look me. a little bit different. You're on your forehead. Yeah. There's no your line. Your forehead? You know where your third that, eye is? Where you see, oh, well, I that's love that. I, my, my, and I was thinking, like, I fucking miss being angry. That's so fucking right. funny. Like, I you know, knew that was going to happen. Anxiety, yeah, yeah, heart I knew that was going to happen. But I like it. I, I like it. that feeling. I know you do. But So that's why, and I try to do it on Friday, but then my goddaughter came, my niece came, they ordered a pizza, ding dong. And what did I do? I fucking stopped midway through and I started swearing. I go, can you guys shut the fuck up? <laughs> so I got to do it when there's nobody around. But you know what? When I did it like those three times, like I fucking felt normal, like peace. But then I go, this is wrong. This is not Julian. But you got to, I need the anger. Yeah, your skin looks I felt better. Your, uh, your complexion is, you know, uh, brighter. Fuck it. Listeners. I need, be, I need to be rage, man. I need to rage. Listeners, go back a few episodes. I don't remember which one it was, but one episode in between recording, we were talking about this, and you can hear me going, you are so adorable yes, today. Yes, yes, Because yeah. you just had this, like, shift Doesn't in energy. Doesn't sound right, though. Doesn't sound right, though. I, I know. Need, I need to rage. Adorable. I, I don't need to be rage. Adorable. We did call it on the episode. I need to rage. I remember people used to call on the phone. Get yeah, help, in my Julian. Heart if I'm not get mad. help, Julian. You should go get on medication, man, Julian. And I would laugh. I go, <laughs> it would just make me feel like like the guy's basically calling me a retard, crazy. And I would just love it, and I would laugh. Hey, it's one thing to be angry no. all the time, but it's another thing to show that you have more power over your emotions. Yeah, but there's times I would just lose it, just like that. My sister is, let's call it at that. She's pretty high up there in that mental uh, health healthcare. She one time I freaked. She goes, I go, that's like a Jekyll and Hyde. She goes, no. <laughs> she goes, what you just, uh, what I just witnessed, they would lock you up with a straight, they would throw away the key. She goes, that's sick shit. I go, come on, man. It wasn't that bad. She goes, no. It mm-hmm. was terrible. They would fucking lock you up. They'd form one you. And I, and I, and I, and I honestly, it was a two second burst. But she goes, for that, you'd be locked up. I go, wow. Uh oh. And that was it. But I need that. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Let's take a break. We'll be right back, listeners. Hey, listeners. Sabrina here. Baby, it is cold outside, but all we want for Christmas is some of your downloads. Share, like, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Take your weird cousin into the garage at Christmas. Smoke a joint. Tell them about the podcast. Live your life. Merry Christmas. Love everybody here at Blowhard. Welcome back, listeners. Uh, where do we leave it? We left it at our favorite episodes. I don't believe Sabrina gave hers or I gave mine. Nope. Reimer gave his. Which was it again, Reimer? Just uh, recap? So many, Effie. I think Effie was. Oh, the Effie White one, correct. Yeah. Okay. I, oh, by Kimberly. I, oh, the hypnotist one yes. was very good. She was a very beautiful girl, yeah. Uh, yes. Hypnotist. Follow her consulting on hypnotist.ca. Yeah, consultinghypnotist.ca. Yeah. I personally liked the Hustler episode. That I one, that. We, I think we gave some pretty good info. We were going back and forth. A lot of people told me that it was very relatable. They enjoyed it. I don't know. Maybe all my friends are hooligans, so I don't know if that was uh, <laughs> just they, they liked it or did the whole listeners could tell us if they liked it. I think it was good. But again, maybe that's just my crowd. <laughs> 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 Sabrina, hit us with something. Well, this is going to make me sound like a total asshole. I don't think so, but continue. Well, my favorite episode, my original response was going to be the one that Kim did, because she is my best friend. Ah. But I think my favorite episode of the podcast was the first one that I did when you guys brought me into That was a really good interview. one, actually. It was a good interview. I think the podcast oh, was good, but that was... When, uh, you, when you got interviewed as the, the phone girl, that yeah, was a good interview. Yeah, before yeah, I yeah, got yeah, brought yeah, in as part of the team. Yeah, I forgot yeah. all about... That was a really good interview, actually. Yes, 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 yes. That's why we sort of like... I sort of said, hey, we got to get her on because that was a good uh, episode. Yeah. And I said, hey, we got to have that girl on because we wanted a girl. Yeah. It was very it was very special to me for those reasons. So yes. on one hand, it's sentimental. And on one hand, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm an asshole that likes yeah. to hear no, myself no, no, talk. No, that was, a, that was a good I'll episode, too. Yeah. 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 I had another episode. That, oh, Pat, go ahead. Yeah, Pat, what's yours? My favorite episode? Yes. No, your favorite fucking dick. Well, of course. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm, my God. His favorite dick is probably his, I would venture to guess. It's but, a good uh, one. Okay. The, my penis is pretty good. It's got to be in the top 10. Yeah. Of my favorite. In this penis. room. Yes. Oh, my God. But um, top 10 inches. See, this is why we don't give, this is why we, this is, we're <laughs> okay. going to take no, Pat's no, microphone mic privileges again. away. <laughs> That's it. My favorite episode, actually, was at the beginning of the mass hysteria. It was the very last episode we had in the condo 
We were sitting on the floor, just the three of us. I recall. All, no furniture. We talked about this crazy-ass barbecue, and we hadn't hung out for a couple weeks. I like it. I and remember. We had a few yeah. beers, and it was really fun. It was like the weather was still nice, even though it was like... It was March. Now we gave the listeners the advice to get a truck to drive the highways to give blowjobs. Oh, you have the van, yeah, the blowjob van, but like just three adult men sitting on the floor in a totally, with no furniture in a condo, having a really fun, and it was a really sunny day. And uh, I and, recall. And then because after that, everything went, the mania just went to the skyrocketed. Yeah. So that yeah. was like really funny. That's anyway, when I got rid of my condo and the furniture was all out. Oh. And we still had two more days left. So we figured, let's just use that as we like a studio. See, this is, what, this is what you get with the podcast. If you start from the beginning, if you're a new listener and listen through, there's so much growth. Oh, like there's sure. been different locations. And now not only, not to brag, is Pat in a chair, but he has his own microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, now we actually we have a fucking fridge in here. We have a studio. <laughs> when we first started, we sat at the, we went to a hotel room, which yeah. is pretty funny. <laughs> Because we got bombed. The there was a couple of uh, girls. That, I remember I brought some Metoxa brandy. And I go, you guys want to drink? And it was only a half a bottle. She poured this thing. Or she poured herself a quadruple. And then there was only this much left for me. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyways, that was funny. There you go. And then uh, from there, we went to the condo boardrooms. And then... Well, the condo boardroom was hilarious because we go there by day. Oh, my God. And there'd God. be students studying. <laughs> no, in the <laughs> evening, we would go after five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and these kids are studying, like, and they were, like, in a little room talking. But again, and you're talking about, like, what is coming, what does CIM stand and for? this back yeah. then, we were really hardcore. And these kids are writing down who the fuck knows what they're yeah. studying. And we're, like, They're doing like, algebra, and we're talking about, you know, taking it up the ass. Yeah, hard. Like, how long does it take to properly gape an asshole for anal if it is a seven-inch dick? <laughs> <laughs> that is that's weird. those and then when we that would walk out question. those all of a sudden when we walked in there was nobody out there yeah and we had and somebody come to the door knock and go uh, excuse me uh, we're studying over here we can you keep it quiet and then when we would oh. leave there'd be 10 kids out there studying and we're like oh my god what the fuck did we talk about god because back then i was talking all kinds of crazy shit and we were yelling yeah <laughs> because the room had no, no design and it was like very echoish you got it. Your every, voice carries anyway. That's anyways, sad. yeah, and they heard everything, and we were walking out with our heads down, like, okay, because I felt kind of embarrassed. They're young guys, young kids, right? Kids, right. you know, between the high, you know, like twenty years old, max. To twenty, yeah. Aww. yeah. So there was children that. So they learned those fucking idiots. Yeah, we were giving them the sex ed class that yeah, they were yeah. missing. They go to university. They fucking should have went to my school. Yeah, yeah, fuck the new, fuck the new uh, TDSB curriculum. Send your yeah, kids yeah. here. Yeah, curriculum nonsense. They curriculum my it. ass was the name of the episode. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Yeah. And now then, we we have the, a, then we had that shitty run where we attempted to do this online. That was when COVID uh, hit yeah. us bad. The, the, the Skype, everything lagged, and uh, it was terrible. We would have had like girls like Amy Taylor coming from LA, flying here in May on her own dollar to do this podcast. Yep. But none of that worked out because obviously what happened? Everything right? shut down. But then we had uh, then we had so many technical difficulties, and we realized how digitally independent uh, or dependent we are, and lacked the right tools. So uh, then that's when we said, "Fuck it, let's get a studio. That's, let's do it proper." Yeah, yeah. The, we well, evolved. Well, yeah. you know, everything uh, everything works in cycles, and I'm so happy that I was able to get on board when I did, and like the the growth that we've been able to have moving up and moving forward. And I think that um, as much as I'm, people are going to laugh at this, I think like 2021, these silver lining things that we're pointing out are just going to keep happening. Of course, not to like completely deny that there is a bit of a dark cloud. Well, we do get the silver lining. And when we talk about it and we focus on it, the things that you focus on are the things that are going to get magnified in your life. And so yes. we get to focus on each other, our podcasts, our loved ones, my new man, exactly. whatever the case may be. Yes, All the good we tend things. to manifest our futures with the things that we speak. I feel great. The, the, so we didn't get Amy year. Taylor, but but January 3rd, we got Cecilia hey, coming Amy in. Taylor's really to come anytime when this bullshit's yeah. all over. So yeah. it's she's not like super she's, stunning, not, she's super not gone. Awesome. She's just... Shout out hold. to Amy Taylor when we finally do get her in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. But uh, you know what? 2021 is going to be great. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you or getting your feedback here in 2021. You and know what? I think we're the number one adult entertainment podcast in Toronto. I think so. We're at least the fastest growing that I can think of. Well, the downloads especially show that. But I think I, we are the number one because yeah. not that there's very much competition, but... 
not too bad for uh, guys who've been around, just uh, guys and young lady who've been we're, around we're for... Not, we're not competing. We're part of this uh, podcast community. Oh, I'm, we're fucking, I'm competing. Oh, relax. Oh, uh, they're all yeah, fucking exactly. done when I'm fucking done with them. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm just, anyway, I'm just we're, teasing. Anyway, we're <laughs> proud of the work that we're doing and with all of the things that we've been talking about that we're grateful in 2020, I think that we can all agree that on the top of our list is our listeners. We absolutely love you guys and we wouldn't be doing this without you. We couldn't be doing this without you. Um, so yeah, you have so much gratitude coming from us. If you have questions that you want Julian to answer, find us on Instagram, find us on Twitter. You can shoot us an email at blowhardtalkhard at uh, gmail.com. We love, I've been having so much fun with this uh, whole Ask Julian thing. I want to know what you want to know because I know stuff, but I don't know what you don't know. So let's no. I figured yes. I could say Lord the, the word mercy. no. That was one of the fucking can. great fucking raw speeches I've ever heard in my life. That would be, I almost feel like it deserves hey guys, applause. guys, out there, don't think that this was practice. This girl here's got some serious fucking game. Just yeah. I don't know, I don't know if I love you listeners because I haven't met you or, uh, but uh, I'm grateful I that you're listening. I appreciate you. I'm grateful that you're yeah, listening. I don't know. I don't know. One of you might have just kicked a well, dog. I'm not you, saying you did, my, but I don't know. You've heard my point. ending sometimes. Duh, 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 duh. Last episode, you heard Reimer. Mouth, 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 <laughs> mouth, mouth, mouth. Anyways, everybody, have a great week. Julian. Reimer. Sabrina. We're out of here, listeners. Happy See you New next Year. week. Happy New Year. Ding, 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 Mary. Ding, ding, dong. <laughs> Ring-a-ling, ding, ding, dong.